You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the national handball team's qualification in the Handball World Cup Finals. His Highness also congratulated the personal representative of His Majesty the King for charity work and youth affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He affirmed that this achievement is thanks to the continuous support of the wise leadership to the youth and sports sector and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in implementing the leadership's directives through programs and development plans and strategies that enhance the level of players and achieve further progress. His Highness affirmed that this achievement reflects a high level and national spirit of the players throughout the championship, which showcases the development of Bahraini sports in general. His Highness also hailed the efforts of the team administrative and technical bodies and praised the efforts of the Bahrain Handball Association chaired by Isa Ishaqi and wished them further success. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the University of Bahrain concluded its graduation ceremony of the 23rd batch for bachelor's, master's at the university campus. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister delegated Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to attend the first graduation ceremony dedicated to students with higher studies, diplomas and students who received academic excellence awards. His Royal Highness deputized the Minister of Education and President of the Board of Trustees of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, to attend the remaining ceremony dedicated to students from other colleges. Dr. Riyadh Yusuf Hamza expressed pride and appreciation for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's patronage of the ceremony. He also congratulated all graduates and called upon them to work hard to achieve the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The college deans noted the efforts of the university to develop its performance on all levels, where it was capable to attain international accreditation of its various academic programs that has been receiving prestigious international organizations, including its recent academic accreditation from the British Accreditation Council. The university has also expanded its postgraduate programs and has increased its number of students in various majors. The graduates expressed joy and pride in the occasion and stressed their commitment to contribute actively to the development of the kingdom. The Honorary President of the Good Word Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, patronized today the inauguration of the 8th Children Forum in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham Al Jodar, Chairman of Al Bayan School, Mail Atebi, and a number of guests from the GCC ambassadors and deans of the diplomatic corps in the kingdom. Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa also inaugurated the Arabic exhibition accompanying the forum with the participation of 11 countries, showcasing children of different cultures and traditions of their country. The Honorary President of the Good Word Society then delivered a speech in which he welcomed the audience to the annual forum and pointed out that this event started locally and expanded on the Gulf level thanks to the support of the wise leadership, their care for children and their keenness to nurture the Bahraini child to build a generation capable to change the future and serve their country. He praised the initiative of the upcoming Star Award and said it has become one of the famous awards that enhanced the confidence in children and motivated them to participate in international competitions. He praised the efforts of the participants, supervisors and the organizing committee for ensuring the success of the event. The chairman of the 
Organizing Committee Yusuf Janahi also delivered a speech in which he affirmed the success of the forum. He also praised the creative kids that participated in the upcoming Star Award and were able to showcase their talent in different fields and enhance the status of the kingdom. Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa then honored the winners of the upcoming Star Award and also honored the participating parties. The Gulf Children's Forum made its way back to the kingdom for the 8th edition of the forum, bringing together over 50 participating children representing the GCC and countries from the region. First of all, it's a great honor to be here and to attend the 8th year of the um, GCC countries initiative regarding the children and their meetings together. So it's a great opportunity for them to share their knowledge, their thoughts, and we would like to see more of these initiatives being taken place. And it's a great achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain to host uh, these kind of initiatives. And we thank the Ministry of uh, Sports and Youth for their uh, um, cooperation with us. And we wish them all the best in their future um, initiatives. And we thank also the people who uh, govern this uh, initiative with confidence in its eighth year. And we would like to see them more in the future, inshallah. The forum also featured the Arab exhibition, which celebrated cultures from around the GCC and the Arab world. Participating countries showcased their nations through food, customs, costumes, music and traditions. I'm so impressed of today's event. It's really uh, something very new to me to have the kids from um, different schools who have attained an international prizes. This is an, a new idea that hasn't been done before. I had a lot of fun today. Um, I made lots of new friends. I really enjoyed this experience and I would really love to do it again. And um, yeah, I learned a lot. The Lebanese embassy represented, uh, of course, our uh, lovely country, Lebanon, and it's very important to participate in such an event to present our country, our products, uh, uh, everything that we have to the world. The forum, which provided a platform for kids from the Gulf to showcase their talents in different fields, encourages social sustainability, world awareness and cultural understanding between the neighboring countries and is one of the leading initiatives and ongoing efforts of the region to develop a capable next generation. 
The eighth edition of the forum continues to enhance regional skill and creates a culture of support within the GCC and the region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received a number of members of the Council of Representatives headed by the Second Deputy Speaker, Abdul Halim Murad, in the presence of the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq Al Hassan. The Minister of Interior hailed the legislative role of the Representative Council and the issues it discusses to serve the interests of the Kingdom and citizens. The representatives expressed appreciation for the active security role of the Minister of Interior, which resulted in thwarting a number of terror schemes. They also affirmed their full support to the initiative of national belonging which was launched by the Minister of Interior during his meeting with a number of citizens, noting its role in reinforcing the Bahraini identity. The Minister of Interior expressed thanks and appreciation to the representatives for their visit that reflects their keenness on following up on all issues related to the Kingdom and citizens and their positive participation in supporting security efforts to preserve peace in the country. The meeting discussed a number of issues related to the reinforcement of coordination between the Ministry of Interior and the Representative Council to maintain the stability of the Kingdom. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended today the Custom Affairs celebration of the International Customs Day, which takes place annually on the 26th of January. Present were the Deputy Minister of Interior, the Ministry's Undersecretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence, the Chief of Public Security, and the Ministry's Undersecretary. On this occasion, the Minister of Interior expressed thanks and appreciation to the efforts of the Customs, noting their security responsibilities and their facilitation of travel movement, as well as their efforts to develop trade and support economic growth. He praised the efficiency and discipline of Bahrain's customs, which is in line with the 2017-2020 strategy. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the customs chief for his efforts to develop the directorate at all levels. During the ceremony, which was held under the slogan, A Safe Work Environment for Economic Growth, a speech was delivered by the customs chief, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Interior. He noted that the customs revenues have increased by 6% compared to 2016 and that the number of arriving trucks at King Fahad Causeway has reached 198,486 at a rate of 544 trucks a day at a crossing rate of less than six hours and that the number of departing trucks was 206,446 at a rate of 566 trucks a day with a crossing rate of 10 hours. A film was screened about the customs book lists that have been issued. The Minister of Interior honored a number of authorities concerned with the customs as well as outstanding officers and non-commissioned officers and those who have contributed to making the customs booklet. The Minister praised their efforts and wished them success in serving their country. The Customs Affairs has taken many steps towards developing its services and updating its procedures based on its strategy for the years 2017 to 2020, which is in line with Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the government's work plan. Today we celebrate the International Customs Day. We inaugurated the Customs Affairs Strategy 2017-2020 on the same day of last year. Thanks to Allah, we were able to implement 33% of the strategy's three goals. The goals are concerned with the human resources, technology, as well as relations with business partners. We are very proud of that at the Customs Affairs, as we work with many people to develop trade and secure the economy. This falls under our slogan for this year, which is a safe work environment for economic growth. According to the strategy of the Customs Affairs, its primary mission is to provide outstanding services at the regional level by facilitating travel and trade movement, as well as maintaining the Kingdom's security under the new vision, customs that promote prosperity, security and economic growth. There are three main goals and there are initiatives that help achieve every goal. The first goal is concerned with reviewing the flow of work at the Customs Affairs starting from the administration to all the ports. The second strategic goal is to have complete self-sufficiency of financial, technological and automated resources at the Customs Affairs. As for the third goal, it is concerned with the partnership of the Customs Affairs with all its partners. Hopefully, with the efforts of everyone at the Customs Affairs, we aspire to implement this strategic plan effectively in real life, which is what I am seeing at the moment.
Through the strategy, the Customs Affairs aims at facilitating procedures to increase the efficiency and movement speed of goods and travelers while taking into account the highest security standards. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated today in the World Economic Forum Davos, which was launched yesterday in the Swiss Confederation under the title Creating a Shared Future in a Fractured World. The forum is attended by heads of states, politicians, academics, businessmen, and representatives of civil society organizations. The various sessions of the conference will discuss a number of international economic and social issues, including strengthening international community efforts, increasing economic growth rates, and dealing with various financial and economic challenges. The minister affirmed that the participation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in this world conference reflects its established policy of building bridges, of cooperation and strengthening its relations with various countries, and increasing bilateral and collective cooperation that would ultimately contribute to the development march of the kingdom. He pointed out that regional and international developments constitute collective dialogue among the international community in order to benefit from economic and social data in achieving economic prosperity and social cohesion, as well as overcoming crises facing many countries. The Foreign Affairs Minister also took part in a special panel session entitled Finding a New Equilibrium in the Middle East, where current regional issues were discussed and with the participation of Saudi Arabia's Foreign Affairs Minister, UAE's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Germany's Federal Minister of Defense, and the Deputy Prime Minister of Turkey. In response to questions raised during the session, the foreign minister stressed the need for the Republic of Iran to abide by the principles of good neighborliness international laws, the Charter of the United Nations and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, which prohibits all forms of interference in the internal affairs of countries. Sheikh Khalid added that the region is in a state of constant change, which requires all countries to play their role in developing the region and maintaining its security and stability, highlighting that certain parties work for change for the aim of growth and progress, while others are pushing for change to expand their influence at the expense of regional security. The minister stressed the importance of historical and strategic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America, which are witnessing progress and advancement in various fields. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, the 29th edition of the Autumn Fair opened yesterday at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center and will continue until the 1st of February, featuring local and international exhibitors. More in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain's biggest shopping event returns for the 29th year with more than 750 exhibitors from 18 countries to form a 15,400 square meter retail extravaganza offering a wide range of fashion, accessories, household appliances, home decor, cosmetics, food and more from around the world for sale at competitive prices. Bahraini exhibitors as well, we made sure that uh, they have a fair uh, competition with their uh, with international uh, exhibitors and of course this will have a, a positive uh, impact on our economy when you have more than 750 participants coming from 18 uh, countries that will definitely uh, have a boost in uh, the hotel occupancy rates and the hotel uh, transportation facilities. I'm impressed every time, you know, with the quality of the products on display here and uh, I can't wait to come back with my wife on a private tour and do some shopping here. I just hope my wife doesn't go crazy and buy too much. But it's a very attractive uh, fair for the consumers and I'm sure it will be another success this year. The exhibition regularly attracts over 160,000 shoppers from Bahrain and Saudi Arabia while acting as an important sourcing venue for distributors and agents in the Gulf region, enhancing trade and economy. From Syria, I used to come here since 13 years and I come every year and to autumn show. Egyptian Galabia, it's 100% uh, uh, cotton. Bahrain is very nice, good exhibition. And I have very good customers here. Our product is uh, from Palestine, Hebron. It's uh, all handmade color. We come here 13 time and we sell here honey and sweets and spices. And the market in Bahrain, it's more profit or good business. It's a great market and we do very well every time. Natural products for cosmetics like uh, hair oil, all uh, hair problems. Uh, skin problems like we have creams. Uh, I have something special from Egypt, Sinai. We produce this handmade soap here in Bahrain. Uh, the soap has a lot of good uh, effects. Uh, it's a natural soap, there's no any chemicals. 
Ten national pavilions were there from Egypt, China, India, Kuwait, Lebanon, Pakistan, Thailand, Turkey, UAE and Yemen, along with numerous local and international businesses that regularly take part. I'm very happy to say that Pakistan is playing a very important role and 50 companies in this autumn fair is a great number. And this shows that uh, the relationship between Bahrain and Pakistan is not only strong, but is continuing to grow. It's a nine-day fiesta of exciting products and exclusive shopping opportunities set in a festive atmosphere for the whole family to enjoy. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul -Ghafur. This is Bahrain held an event in the Indian city of Mumbai in collaboration with Simon and Zinthal America where a number of representatives of different faiths, academics and diplomats from around the world attended. More on this report with our correspondent Sara Libreg. This is Bahrain has been working on spreading the vision of coexistence that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has had for years. The hard work put into fulfilling His Majesty's directives has now become a global success, crowned with the announcement of the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence. We formally announced that the official inauguration ceremony for the King Hamad Global Center for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence will take place and it will be inaugurated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in Manama, Bahrain on the 14th of March 2018. And this is a really welcome news. Around us this evening we have many dignitaries and the leaders and members of all different faiths who have universally lauded His Majesty for his remarkable vision and his commitment and such sincerity to promote religious freedom for all faiths around the world. And in particular, it would seem that the King Hamad Global Center is now really um, having Bahrain recognized as the Switzerland of the Middle East for all types of dialogues, conferences and events related to religious, ethnic and humanitarian um, sources. For instance, to help to mediate uh, as well as um, help to educate. After the wonderful event in Los Angeles, most importantly, the release of the declaration by His Majesty uh, from Bahrain, this is the next logical place to come because now you're going to hit a couple of more million people. A key point is that uh, the world has been asking where are the moderate Arabs, where are the moderate Muslims? Can somebody say something right to the point? And here it is. His Majesty and King Hamad is a lot of courage. Uh, he's been fearless. The youth of the world have still so much to learn when it comes to fixing the wrongs that have contaminated the sacred images of all religions. From the time the child is in school, you have to t learn to teach him how to respect whether a person is rich, poor, pretty looking, ugly, or whatever having this own language or a different faith. So that is how we have to start building the child up, the personality and the character of the child right from the beginning. His Majesty, the King, is a, is a man who understands different religion, who thinks that all religions are same. And you can see in Bahrain, you have diff people coming from all over the world, having different cultures, having this different customs, celebrating different festivals, which is wonderful. You know, which you don't find in many of the Gulf countries or even take it anywhere. So it is wonderful that this initiative is coming from the Majesty itself. The younger generation is totally confused because of the infight and uh, uh, all, the, all the negative forces which is uh, prominent in the society. But if a, a person like uh, uh, His uh, Majesty the King himself is taking initiative, its impact is beyond the comprehension, but within the reach of every person, which is of supreme importance. The most vital part of achieving a vivid vision like the one His Majesty has is education. It is needed to eradicate terrorist ideologies and provides the right policies to establish a center such as the King Hamad Global Center. Sapienza University and the King Hamad Chair will provide this education. This is a wonderful initiative from His Majesty to target young people.
because they're, they are confused. They are fed so many conflicting ideas and ideologies and um, they don't know where to turn in this darkening world. So His Majesty, as he says quite rightly, ignorance is the enemy of peace. And the ending words that His Majesty used for the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration were, faith illuminates our path to peace. And that is exactly the objective of the King Hamid Global Center. And we look forward to welcoming the world so that they can share His Majesty's visionary philosophy. This is Sarah De Break reporting for Bahrain International from Mumbai, India. A very good evening You're watching the business news in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghafoor. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,341.77 points, marking an increase of 4.66 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, services and investment sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial banks sector, representing 57% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 109 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 6,394,414 shares, worth 1,121,473 Bahraini dinars. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zaid Rashid Zayani has received the Tunisian Ambassador Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed and the Algerian Ambassador Fouad Sadiq Al Baharna. The minister congratulated both newly appointed ambassadors, wishing them success in their diplomatic missions. During the meeting, they reviewed various issues related to the economic aspects and ways to boost cooperation with the sisterly and friendly countries.